Hey everybody, it's Jonathan again. And I'm Brian, again. Alright, I just gotta say for this episode, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and given our pace, Happy Independence Day. So, we've decided it's time for another commentary. Don't ask about the next episode. <clears throat> and basically, yeah, now that we're approaching the Christmas season, let's just look back at what is currently our most popular episode, the San Juan Holiday Special. Brian, you have anything to say before we begin? Honestly, at the, at the day we're recording this, we're at 188,637 views, which is honestly more than I would have expected out of uh, any video that uh, I have edited in this past decade. So if people are liking it, then uh, I guess that means I'm doing something right. I just clicked with people. That's actually what's most impressive. Yeah, honestly. This episode was a lot of fun to go to finally put together in fact you in a way you could say this episode is why we even have the revival but i'll get into that as we go along so all right do you want to begin ready when you are all right and go ah terrible acting what the? Oh, wow, snow. Ugh, terrible texturing yeah. oh it's just snow Yeah, with geometric snow piles. <laughs> All right, our first look back at the new San Juan train, so that's, that made it particularly fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so first question if people seem to have, why is it called the Holiday Special? And there's a simple reason. The new Star Wars movie had just come out, so I wanted to remind people of that famous Holiday Special. Yep, I've been doing this even from the very beginning. And he's replacement voice actor, a good friend of mine, Lisa. I hope her voice isn't too monotone for people. Compared to my voice, right? <clears throat> but yep. Ah, uh, this is fun to do. Yeah, so as you can see, the winter conversion of this, uh, layout was pretty straightforward. It's not just a matter of uh, just sprinkling snow everywhere. You have to get snow on the on the cliffs and in some cases some of the uh, buildings and rolling stuck. So for what this was back in my uh, skill set back then, I think this worked out pretty all right. Oh, that's good. Yep, I told you to rebuild the route and then go one step further to make it snowy. I mean, it looks convincing. So the whole concept, I'm wondering in all this time, like, how many of these jokes are lost on people? Because this is all just one massive inside joke between, f like, four other shows that we used to watch. Mm -hmm. Particularly Kovac's show, TMRC. There's a few references to Joe's show, MREP. There's a few references to Full Bucket Nears. Those were probably the most obvious. And there's a few to Trevor's old series which there's a couple of lines straight out of that as well. But it just kind of amuses me, like, wow, all these references to things that people don't even remember or can't even access anymore. wonder how people feel. Yeah, the real trick, honestly, is to uh, make them uh, either distinct enough that people can, that uh, veteran viewers can pick up on them, or they can, uh, or make them just uh, original enough so that people... Uh, who had never heard of those shows could still find them funny. Yep. It's just about somehow inserting all the references in a plausible enough way. Kind of liked all the Christmas music as well. It's like it actually worked and it's all royalty free, right? Yeah. Ah, in phasing coupler, I keep. Oh, yeah, this bit's fun. This was actually intended from the very beginning because, like, the game's limitations mean you can't have snow animated going away. Hey, it makes it funnier, right? Yeah. I feel like there's. And eh, now, in hindsight, Dan probably should have said something why he's not listening. Sure. In fact, where did he... Oh, that's right. 
yeah, the Nintendo Wii thing, like, that's right out of somebody else's show. For the yeah. life of me, I can't remember which one. Oh, yeah, this song, too. Yeah. I think that was... Well, it's called I'm in a Hurry. It's right there in the title. Oh, this is fun to do. This is a washout, right? Uh, more like Snowdrift. And, yeah, you can tell by the... Uh... But well, there's ties there. That's what the washout is supposed to be. And for some reason, this is the most satisfying thing I've seen. I've ever. <laughs> I don't know how much this is funny. It's that visual. It's like, where has the nonsense begun? Great. Now what am I going to do? I don't know if it was quite clear, but the big boy whistle is just supposed to be a sensor. Sure. Remember when that line used to be episode four and a half? Yeah. That was my own recording off of uh, the actual Cassie Enoch 5. Whoa. Oh, hey, Jeff. I was just sitting here admiring the falling snow. What does it look like I'm doing? I guess you think you derailed again, right? So Chuck was a fun character to write. I just knew that we wanted a side character who doesn't have any relevance to the plot ever again. And yet, not surprisingly, we're getting requests to get him back. Oh, yeah, no surprises there. No guarantees either. Hmm, this kind of went on a while. But let's see. Okay. The, maybe one of these days. I can't tell. Should I get angry or should I just get sillier? Well, it's possible to be both, isn't it? Well, true. Somebody decorated him that way and he just liked the look. It's either that or Cliff Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot that part. Dan. Yeah, you're still on a track there, buddy. What do you mean? You might have derailed on a bad track, but you must have bounced off of something and landed back on the rails. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's only possible in this game. I can. I don't know if they would. It occurs to me that we call it Breakdown Crane, even though everybody knows it's called a Wrecking Crane, right? Right. Whoops. So, yeah, the Wii jokes. It occurs to me that they don't make sense. In fact, in my head, it's because they like playing with the Wii because it's hands-free. Yeah, one would think. <laughs> ah, man, this Chuck really made this episode. So, all right, let's see. I was trying to mention how this episode kind of led to the show coming back. <laughs> uh, simply speaking, it's that this script was written like well before any of these ep other episodes and I think may have come into existence right around episode 3 or 4 so it was kind of always in the back of my head the script is still existed on my computer and I knew I wanted it to come to fruition because it was just it still made me laugh and the people who read it thought it was amusing too so while the, hol while the Halloween special brought the show back this was the one that essentially kept it company kept it from going away mm -hmm. do you have any idea when you first read that script oh yeah it, that was probably at the uh that had to have been like uh like very late 2009 when we uh when we, when we first looked at it and it's uh it really did seem fun back then right so it's like yep had to get bring it back somehow oh this sequence brian how'd you do it Oh yeah, I'm proud of how this turned out. In fact, I didn't even realize this was possible in the game. So, explain the first thing though. How are we inside the tunnel? tunnel Alright, well the cave section itself is made out of um, a scenery item in the Modula City route, which is either in the game or in the download station. Um, the, uh, the actual spline section is just having the uh, 
was like a half case se section arched over the tracks itself. So just putting the two of them together kind of made like make a uh, a makeshift tunnel, and then uh, okay. that in the track, and then the a very simplified switch point, which is off the uh, DLS, I think, and then of course the signs made by uh, um, actually a friend who volunteers with me on the 576, and uh, he made the entire alphabet with those signs. So nice. getting those in order was especially a lot of fun. Ah, okay. Very proud of how that turned out. The whole store been bought by a bunch of British engines with faces. Ahem. As as close to a reference we're getting, by the way. The eraser stubs, that also is right out of somebody else's show. Oh, wait, yeah, I, I think I remember which one. And that was the voice actor's suggestion. I knew it had to go in. How many people even caught that joke? Yeah, honestly. If you don't know, ask an adult. Yeah. Oh, cool. Headlight fluids. Thanks, Chuck. I'm safe now. Probably four hundred and twenty-five dollars and eighty-two cents. Oh, fine. I guess that's what an engine would need with money. Yeah. There you go. Well, I still, I just love in my head, it's like, how exactly did he scan a credit card? Yeah, sort of. Um, if we were to incorporate hand movements in some way, I think I'd probably reference to uh, Homestar Runner and how the handless characters uh, move stuff around. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah, great wind noise. Oh, yeah. I think we should, maybe we should have had, like, a collapsing track in front of him at some point. But it's like, it was always in the script that he fell off the cliff somehow to fly into the air. But eventually, I realized, wait, we got to do the pushed off a cliff line. It's like, that joke's been there for years. It has to happen. Oh, yeah. Now, this bit was on the, uh, the default Winter Alps route that dates back to Ultimate Train's Classics. And... It's just oh, so nice. fun just draping invisible track all over the mountains just to see it uh, like this, and oh, here's the fun part. <laughs> just as the snowstorm gradually gets worse. But it's like, yeah, it just made it all the more amusing. Or rather, it's like, you know, it occurs to me, we kind of broke the joke with this one. That engine's face was hilarious. It's like, it, it's a reference to, uh, which one? Full Bucket Nears? Oh, yeah. Nice touch on the goofy hauler, by the way. Oh, yeah. Aren't you two going to help him? I don't know how they just change their minds that quickly. Oh, yeah. And he's perfectly fine. It's like... It's like he flew off screen. Huh. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, oh, poor guy. Yeah, that's how Lisa responds to most of those. Actually, right, the box is carved. We should have... Uh, it's like, where it was it the whole time? <laughs> we knew we had to take the silly pain gag somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice does, Carter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this joke made a lot more sense once we decided that these engines are technology. Ah, my smoke box. What happened? Yep, snapped back to reality. So what was the whole point of it? Was it all a dream? Well, yeah, of course it was. Like, some of the most famous Christmas stories of all time were dreams. You know, It's a Wonderful Life, or A Christmas Carol, or a Lethal Weapon. I think that was the plot of Lethal Weapon. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. 
They are all... <clears throat> so it's still Christmas after all, that kind of thing. I'll just admit, though, like, my problem with Christmas is that it's not... It's like it's too sentimental at times, so, like, no, let's have a comedy. Like, 100% comedy as well. In fact, I'll admit, the episode turned out a lot funnier than I was expecting it to. So I was like, huh, this, uh, it's like, how is it that I'm watching my, something I wrote and actually laughing? You ever have that feeling? Oh, man, that hardly ever happens with me. And I just remembered watching this and, like, actually laughing just as much as everyone else. So that was, that was a good sign that, you know, we were off to a good start. Yeah, totally. It's, uh, it's something I still get recognized in public for, amusingly enough. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, we'll get new episodes out eventually, right? Eh, we'll see. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, well, let's see. So, yeah, this is fun to always look back on. The fact this is the only one I could admit that I all that I still enjoy watching again, even when it's not Christmas, right? So let's see. Don't. All right, don't worry, guys. 2019's coming along, and we have stuff we're finally catching up on. So. Oh, we'll make it worth it. Brian, is there anything you want to say? Uh, not exactly. Other than, uh, thanks, thanks guys for, uh, for your support for this episode over the past three years. It's been really good making it, and, uh, hopefully we'll, uh, try and top this in a way. Um, we'll see, I guess. But, uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was good. Yep, this was a lot of fun to do again. Yep. I gotta thank you guys for coming back and watching it. It's been fun. So, we'll get more done next year. And in the meantime, take care. Ciao for now.